Thank you for calling the LC Real Estate Group. To dial by name, press 8. If you do not know the extension of the person you're trying to reach, press 0 for the company directory, or press 9 to dial by extension. Please enter the destination extension number, then press pound. Hello, this is Eric Holtzapple, and you've reached my voicemail. Please leave your name and telephone number after the tone, and I'll call you back just as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Mr. Apple, it's me again, William Montgomery. Uh, phone message got cut off a little short there. I wasn't really done, uh, but I don't really have much left to say. Um, but I really do feel like you need to have um, uh, some sort of information or contact with these people, or at least know that they exist. So uh, I've been working with Craig Horton in the Fort Collins Police Department Internal Affairs. Uh, as well as Jackie Pearson, and um, uh, they know, they have a lot of information. I, I keep getting them more information. Um, uh, ultimately, um, Bob Persifield in the Larimer County District Attorney's Office, uh, courtroom 4C. That's probably the guy that you probably want to talk to most. I mean, I'm I'm trying to get him to talk to you, but like you know, he's in denial. Uh, he, he thinks that there is still uh, some sort of you know prosecutorial ability to convict me of, of trespassing in, in private property. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. You know, they have no evidence, no maps, no anything. Um, but of course, nevertheless, um, yeah, these are people that are going to work with you, uh, either illegally or legally. And, um, whether you do no nothing at all, uh, or, or something is, is up, is, is up to you. I mean, basically I think you could probably still end up not looking like the worst person ever in this situation. Um, it, technically the police are the ones that are more illegal than you. Uh, so you could kind of let them know that they're not supposed to be calling that 460. Um, basically they didn't have any knowledge of the minor amendment process, uh, that you did put through yet, by the way. Um, they, you know, obviously didn't have any knowledge of the 23-84, um, fence encroachment permit violations, uh, that, that you did there, um, first place. So, uh, but yeah, if you get the gist of this here, um, you, it's kind of out of your control now because other people are just going to keep running with your hate crime, you know, your homeless hate crime there. Um, but you know, it's not too late. I mean, I haven't been wrongfully convicted yet in this area. So, um, but yeah, basically, Ultimately, what you should really be concerned about is that there is a police department and a um, district attorney's office that is otherwise ratifying this new pseudo fake non-existent land of yours, um, basically to cover up that they didn't know what they were doing that night. Uh, so I jumped the fence and right away when they uh, uh, I did it, uh, they asked for ID because they went down the private property path. Uh, they didn't even have give themselves a chance to go down the public property path where they could have gone and checked with the zoning department to see that there was no permit like I did. So, um, they are and still are, they did and are still, they're still enforcing your illegal land. Uh, so, uh, you're, you're going down in history, buddy, either way. Uh, try to do some damage control, man, if you can. You have reached the maximum time permitted for recording your message. 